It's important to take some time to review the settings and operations found within the form builder before creating your first form. You'll enter the form builder mode when clicking the edit button for an existing form or creating a new form or resource. From here, I'll touch on all of the different elements and operations of the form builder from top to bottom. The JSON button next to the form title will generate the JSON schema for the form. This button here will copy the form path or form embed URL. You can find that in the embed tab as well. Clicking the display as drop down changes the way the form is displayed and formatted. Forms can be displayed as top to bottom web forms by selecting form, traditional wizard format, or PDF. The form's display can be changed dynamically at any time during the form's life cycle. Use the search field to find any component that you might be looking for. Components are grouped into different tabs based on the component type. These range from more traditional input type fields to fields that change the presentation or format and style to more advanced fields with predefined functions and validations. Looking at the UI elements at the bottom here, clicking the copy button will copy the JSON of the form, allowing you to create a copy of it. The cancel button will cancel any changes made to the form. When a change has been made that hasn't been saved yet, you will see an orange banner here um, indicating so. Clicking the save button will obviously save the form. Components have inline settings that can be accessed by simply hovering over the field. The gear icon will open up the component settings. Clicking and holding the arrow icon will allow you to move and reposition the field on the form. Clicking the wrench icon will open up the JSON for that component. Um, you can use this JSON to uh, modify settings, or you can copy this JSON and paste it inside other forms or resources or even other projects. Clicking the copy button will introduce this paste button. This will copy the component JSON and allow you to paste um, the copy of the field anywhere on the form. You just hover over any component, click paste below, and then that component will be copied over. And then finally, clicking the X button will remove the component from the form. If you unintentionally remove a component, simply refresh the form, and that component should return as long as you haven't saved your form.